something else that came out of James Gunn and Peter Safran's announcement today is Lanterns. Yeah, Lanterns. So Lanterns is a new eight big HBO event level series coming from the new DCU studios based on the DC comic Green Lantern. Now, this new project is separate from the Greg Berlanti project that was previously in production, and it's going to be something new from Gunn and Safran in the new DCU. The Green Lantern comics tell the story of several protagonists. Like, there's a lot of different people who take up the name and title and become Green Lantern. They get empowered with rings that grant them superhuman abilities. Now, Green Lantern, you, you might remember him. He's been seen in film before in 2011 with actor Ryan Reynolds portraying the character. He portrayed Hal Jordan in that film. Now, Hal Jordan will be featured in this new project alongside Jon Stewart, but I, I wouldn't hold my breath for Ryan Reynolds returning to the role. Um, of all the series, it's been reported that Saffron and Gunn are probably the most excited for Lanterns, which Saffron was reported as describing as a huge HBO quality event. Uh, this is very much in the vein of True De Detective. They keep throwing around True Detective as a reference. The show is going to focus on the two of the best known members of the Green Lantern Corps. Like I said, Hal Jordan, the test pilot first played on screen by Ryan Reynolds. Jon Stewart, he's an ex-Marine and one of DC's first black superheroes. You might remember him from the Justice League and Justice League Unlimited cartoon. Most people didn't even know there was a white Green Lantern because of that show. These two guys are going to investigate a mystery that Saffron said plays a really big role leading us into the main story that they're telling across their film and television. So it's a very important show for them. I'm excited about this show and the pairing of Hal Jordan and Jon Stewart uh, as part of this show. Now, previous announcements for a Green Lantern series, they absolutely felt mixed with the direction. But this actually feels right. I don't think audiences got a fair look at Hal Jordan in the 2011 movie. And I definitely think there are a ton of fans of the Justice League cartoons featuring Jon Stewart that are loving this announcement. Something really interesting is that detail that the series is going to play into a larger narrative that's going to be told across the DC universe. There's so many cosmic directions that DC could go with these characters that only time will tell what they have in store for us on a larger scale. Overall, I think this news is really, really exciting.